so I'm probably going to be very tired today. If you remember from the last time of me playing this, I did say there were some things which could be done. P O W E R, which gives us more of those chocolate bars. And then we want to spell out L I for ice cream, uh, V is the violin. E is that, and S is that. And we see Robocod is looking ever so happy and smiley in the bottom there. Losing all of one's chocolate bars is not a desirable thing. Both in the game and real life, of course. And so it may come as no surprise that we're likely paying not the fullest attention to the game. And therefore, any instance involving Robocard are only slightly within my, um, responsibility. Of course, there is that whole, you know, Robocod playing part of my brain which seems to be doing reasonably at well at controlling the little fish person around. So, I mean triumph of the human brain in that way I suppose? Human brain very adaptable. You remember our ancestors on the plains of whatever whatever place there would have been ancestors and they used to play ancient versions of Robocod and so I thank my ancestral memory of Robocod. Maybe I'm just being utterly foolish here both in the game and out of the game Apologies, I thought I might have heard something which could have been a knocking. However, it was not a raven. That's what that sound is. It was the bullets in the game. You can tell how very so awake I am right at this moment. <laughs> <sighs> it was the bullets evermore. <laughs> Shame it's not midday, because then that would be a, a good, you know... <gasps> Once upon a midday sleepy, while I played the Robocod over many, or collecting many a uh, curious penguin, something something. <laughs> As I played nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping. As of someone gently rapping. Rapping at my chamber door. Tism! person who's going to come and fix my taps, I thought. Rapping at my chamber door. That was my thought and nothing more. Bewildered. Then I muttered. Something, something. Then I stuttered. What the heck is going on in this world? And such. So I did remove my headphones and listen for the, the, the speaking of somebody saying something. <laughs> and I did ask, will my taps forever leak? And the bird said, evermore. And I defeated the boss in the middle of all that, so you know. Something is going right somewhere, I suppose. And the Katie, never flitting, still is sitting, still is sitting. By the orange bust of Robocod above her chamber door. I mean, it's a strange place to put any kind of statue. I'm aware that I'm criticizing my own parody of the Raven here. <laughs> but my brain is capable of many wondrous things, especially when it is incredibly tired. Ah, Robocod hath died. Somehow still a halfway competent at playing Robocod. So there is that. I mean, if I am ever able and ever looking for work in the future, I shall certainly put that on my CV. Can still play Robocod whilst being very, very tired and talking absolute nonsense. Despite everything else, I am still just a rat in a cage. Now wait. Despite everything else, I did manage to complete one thought at least today, so, you know, I am up one point at least in that regard and perhaps the world is perhaps the world has gained something this day that plane had teeth perhaps it stole those teeth from somewhere else then again it does have a mouth i am incredibly worried about those planes 
I mean, I'm not quite sure if now if I'm more worried about the planes that don't have teeth. I mean, what's the dental work like in, ah, the place where, oh, it stopped scrolling. I was completely safe down here. What's the dental work like in Robocard land? I was going to say, do fish have teeth? But look at little Robocod down in the corner there. Indeed, fish do have teeth. Or perhaps just tooth. Maybe that is one large front tooth. A mouth knife. As a wise person once said, bugger that for a game of soldiers. <laughs> now, I'm not exactly aware what a game of soldiers indeed is. When somebody says soldiers, I, 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 I tend to think of the things that one dips in, in eggs. Or not. Being that, you know, I am vegan, so that's that's not a thing of which I partake. Yeah, so have any animals actually evolved just one large tooth? Meaning like one, one very long flat tooth like what could be seen in the mouth of that there robocod. Anyway, going back to what I was saying earlier, because I can't simply stay on a topic, especially not today. My ancestors would be not very proud of me with my awful demonstration of Robo Cottage. Actually, that doesn't sound like a very good word, does it? Robo Cottage. Sounds like there could be something possibly vile in there. Anyhow, Scarlet is saying that somebody has now made a recipe for vegan eggy dippy sauce to dip toast into, which could be nice. You know, I never really did like eggs. The only eggs I liked were the ones that were in like cakes. Or ice cream. You know, the kind of egg that you can't really tell is there. But yes, I mean, I could, could have in my past, maybe have considered an omelette. For what are omelettes if not just kind of like pancakes? I know, I'm really breaking out the deep philosophical stuff here today. What is a pancake? <sighs> a miserable pile of eggs. Oh, or something. Perhaps my ancestors are trying to tell me something. All that knowledge wrapped up in my DNA, which has gone to waste. Doing things like taking part in civilized conversations and, and such. I should have been listening to my ancestors and been playing Robocod the whole time. But no, I wasted my time on having a chat or desperately trying to avoid having a chat. Hiding in my room, listening to the door, waiting for the voices to disappear before I left in order to avoid meeting someone who would probably just say hello or perhaps even less. But the mere anxiety of human contact meant that I did not wish to have taken such an act, obviously observed long ago to be basically phony and just two life forms making noise at each other in order to make each other feel better about, you know, this whole thing. But I do believe my DNA is... is reforming. <laughs> and what my ancestors once knew about caution... <laughs> what my ancestors once knew about caution... is gently seeping from where I do not know and possibly do not wish to know. For anything which seeps sounds rather disgusting. Gosh, this isn't a maze, is it? I would so dislike this being a maze. Oh dear, I'm in a pit. Oh, no, why did I have to pick up an umbrella? This is surely the worst thing that could happen to me today. Oh heck, did I miss... I think I can't go there because I do not have enough penguins. This is a travesty. I, for one, shall not partake in your penguin-based economy. Well, they do seem to... Ah. Ah, there is an angel boy here. Sweet, sweet angel boy. Please direct me towards the penguins. An angel hath been sent to guide, to guide me toward the penguins. Oh, sweet boy of angels, do please direct me towards the angels. I think I'm ending that one. I think I'm ending that one. I am not sure about this one. Hello, 
do you have any penguins? Yes. Oh, sweet angel boy. Thank you very much. I will leave your teeth behind as gratitude. As gratitude, I shall not wrench thy teeth out of thy head. But I shall butcher this grammar. I think I am not over too sure. You can really tell. Perhaps someone who hath studied English or such. Really? I mean, really? Really? Exit post? What do you want from me? Do you wish for my Robocony blood? Here, take, take all you need. Slice me twain. I don't know if he's like penguins. What penguins? Can't, can't I, can't I please just exit this level? Can I please not move on? Or is this now hell? Is this now hell and I have been condemned to spend the rest of eternity here for coming up with the word Robo Cottage? I repent. Please let there be some mercy in the universe that I may leave this level. Bird, bird, can you direct me, please, bird? Bird, why hast thou forsaken me? I wish to escape this torment. I wish not to be. Oh, oh mercy, oh glory. There is a penguin. I have found one extra penguin. I do not know if that is enough. I feel that maybe perhaps that we shall not be enough. That maybe... No, no, we have. We have been freed. <laughs> Only to find ourselves in a much similar corridor. The very... Very suspicious looking roof, I was just about to say. And isn't it very nice? They're very conscious of the environment here. With a lead free. I'm guessing petrol, but then there's all these oil cans around the place. But is this. is this still. some vision of hell? For it is indeed. a car showroom. So at some point there shall. be some kind of salesperson approaching me. And wishing to sell me. Not just a car, but extras. <laughs> I do not want. your fuzzy dice! Oh gosh, surely this is, this is really hell. Oh, 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 merciful, merciful hole in the ground, or, or are you a ceiling? I do not know, but you have freed me from the car showroom of hell. I think really what, what this goes to prove is that in being not quite in control of my brain, some filter here has been cut off. <laughs> well, yes, I mean, I could have stretched up and climbed across the ceiling. But I was wishing to wanting to wishing to want to wish to want. Wanting to wish to wanting to wondering. That's probably the word I was going for. Wondering if indeed I would um, jump it. Do, 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 do the Robocard. Do the Robocard. Please, train, train. Be my friend. You are no Thomas. Why hath my Thomas left me? Why hath Thomas abandoned me? And left me with these trains? Ah, as I thought, the button, which seemed to do nothing, has led me into this lower circle of hell. With smiling cars, who do indeed have teeth. Why? Why must I be in hell? Especially the one where cars have teeth. I mean, I could possibly have put up with some other version of hell, but the one with teeth. Seriously? Da da da, trains, 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 trains don't have teeth. I'm quite happy the cranes don't have teeth. I do not want to see a train with teeth. Oh my! There is a large car! And this one has teeth! <laughs> and this one has spiky teeth! Oh no! Please, please car, please large car, who dispenses smaller cars out of their mouths, please stop doing that. It's, it's rather uncomfortable. I mean, possibly it's rather uncomfortable for you too, but um... 
Anyway, the car is destroyed. My ancestors shall be proud of me. I shall just escape my enemies by flying above them in my bath. Ha ha. Have a bath on your noggin. Oh no, bathception! Oh! Oh, we are now swimming. Oh, and these are enemies. Say hello to these enemies, because these ones... Oh, what's wrong with... James Pond. They are rather brutish-looking fish. I do not trust that there isn't another penguin over here. Okay, maybe I was mistaken. That could happen a lot. Turns out somehow there is gravity. I don't know how that works. Don't ask me. But somehow I don't seem to be able to get back up here. I don't know why. Don't ask me. I have no idea. It's just not letting me go up there. I guess I'll go around somehow. I don't know. Don't ask me. I am just a fishy. Perhaps I'm getting something wrong. Maybe there is a way. Okay, I just tap up instead of holding up. That makes some sense. Oh, look at this little cute little figurehead. Oh no! Oh, actually, they're kind of, kind of reasonable as long as they don't get anywhere near me. Like most people, really. I mean, I'm not against the idea of people. It's just that they can do that and, and they can leave me be. So instead of snakes on a plane here, we get penguins on a sunken ship. I mean, it was a bold move for the franchise, really. Oh no, there's another penguin somewhere. Perhaps... Perhaps more than one other penguin. This is indeed a travesty. I wish to write to my fishy politician of no specific country to complain about this injustice. Hi. Can I now go to the exit? Thank you very much. Soap, soap, soap. Oh no! The soap did me a murder! Now, I'm not fond. Okay, so I can't jump on the soap. But the soap can jump me! It's not fair! Well, all's fair in love and soap. Angel boy, please. Oh, angel boy, were you trying to direct me towards these stars? Angel boy, you are truly an angel. However... Oops, hey, 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 I was looking at the dominoes, not at the cards. Why must you, why must you bully me like this? Please be kind to a small fish who has been turned into a stretchy robot fish. Playing cards, they were playing me. Why do you play me for cards? A joker? You know what jokers are, don't you, cards? Turns out the joker was inside you all along. Ha! Oh, here they are. Here are all the jokers. Look at all these cards. See, now these jokes are ones which may have escaped my brain previous to this dream when I have not been quite as tired as I am now. For these other puns that live inside my brain and beg for escape. Yeah, it's quite a nice, quite a nice theme. Ah! See, I'm not aware of many games, I mean, at least any traditional games, which involve spikes. I am not a fan. And shall be writing a complaint to the manufacturers. And I hope for a full refund on my purchase. But mom, you did not pay for this. What an injustice. Why? Why do you accuse me so? For I did see you smuggling this game out under your many skirts. <gasps> Sorry, you must back that up with some kind of evidence. Otherwise, I challenge you to a duel. Madame, you know I do not have any evidence. All I have. It's my memory of seeing you being a filth, 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 I can't say that, but I am accusing you of it, you filthy thief. I can't say it because I don't have my teeth in. They were stolen by a snake. But why, why, why did the snake steal your teeth? It wanted to say filthy thief. Gosh, why would a, why would a snake wish to say such a thing? Good sir. The snake wished to describe itself to me. No, I don't know where that's going either. I think that's probably the end of that scene. Nobody look now. Nobody look now. 
But I think that horse is staring at me, and I don't like it. Why, hello, horse friend. How art thou today? <laughs> oh my gosh, please, please leave me alone, horse. Please. Oh, you look rather sad, don't they? Oh my gosh, more horses. Oh no, please, please, please save me. Rook, please. Oh gosh, now I think I'm getting drafted. Oh no, please do not return me here. I do not wish to see this, this grinning face, this spectre of death once again. Getting a bit drafty in here, don't you think? <laughs> there best not be a monkey up there throwing these down. I would be very displeased. Where am I going? What am I doing? Where is my beautiful house? This suits me. Ha ha ha. Get it? Because there's suits. In there. Well, I could have gone down that corridor there just to check, but you know. I was going to check, but there looked like there were plenty of checkers around. If you catch my draft. <sighs> yes, I know that last pun didn't really quite work, but uh, you get what you get, okay? Snakes. Snakes on a game. So maybe one day, maybe one day when I'm not deliriously tired, I'd have some capacity to play a game without, without many impedances. Perhaps on that maybe glorious day, perhaps not. Perhaps I shall be able to play this game without the cheat son, and therefore be able to be classed amongst the ranks of true gamers. <laughs> Sorry, I can't even finish that sentence. <laughs> Gosh. But you used cheats. You not only cheated the game, but yourself. The game wished to be cheated, sir. The game was quite happy about it. The game even invited me to cheat by placing such items, of which I could collect in a certain order, so that I may cheat, so that I put to you. The game desired to be cheated. Game, what say you? The game has little capacity to speak, sir, for it is a game. The game merely wishes to be played in whichever fashion the player wishes to play. Do not judge the game. Do not judge the player. But I am a judge. I, I, this is my job to judge. I judge, therefore I am. Ah, but sir, you chose to be a judge, did you not? Did the game choose to be a game? Did the player choose to play? Oh, okay, the player may have chosen to play the game. Okay, you got me there, but, but did the game indeed choose? To be a game? I do not. I do not think so, sir. Perhaps you're right. Perhaps I've wasted my life judging others. Perhaps I shall start a new life as a cocktail waitress. Follow your heart, sir. Follow your heart. Oh, should I say, mom? <laughs> There's a sense of reality which obviously gets lost in being half in some kind of dream world, as it were. <laughs> so I'm not quite sure if we've gotten away from the idea of games, because what, what's, what's this stack of? Is this pogs? We're looking at pogs here. I'm a slammer. I am a slammer. Psh, I'm a slammer. No. I don't know. Find me a checkpoint to boop. I'm sure that's what you do with checkpoints, isn't it? You just boop them. That's how they work, I think. I mean, at least ones which are kind of like signs or such. You just think about Sonic the Hedgehog running past one of those spinny things and going boop, and it going spinning around after that. Well, if it does please you more, you can think of Tails the Fox or Miles Per Hour doing it. Oh dear. Oh dear. <sighs> so many ouches. Well, I could have said so many ouches, so little time, but there is indeed infinite time here. Hey! 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 I dispute that, angel boy. I dispute that. Ow! I dispute that too. I was merely coming to file my complaint, and then I was assaulted. And I do not appreciate it, Angel Boy. I do not appreciate it at all. And Ghost, 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 I follow up that complaint. 
that I have with Angel Boy, I should be filing um, two lawsuits, but they're kind of connected. I don't know if there's a special word for that kind of thing, but but if there is, I shall darn well be doing it. Listen to me. Ghost, I shall not fall for your tricks. Oh dear. But apparently spike pits, I shall fall for them. I don't know, maybe the angels are actually good, but these are the bad guys that stole the wings from the angels. Oh gosh. Well, I guess this one's a bust, isn't it? A pallid bust? I don't know. Perhaps a palace? I don't know. Would a raven sit on it? I don't know. Stop asking me these questions. Who are you asking to ask me these questions anyway? My brain? My brain, why do you ask me these questions? I do not have the answers for these questions. My brain, my brain, why do you do this to me, my brain? You're tired. You're tired. That's why you're doing this, brain, huh? You're tired. This is why you're professing, prof proffering, prof yeah, proffering, I think is one. This is why you're proffering these questions to me, brain, because you're tired. Because even though you have had quite enough sleep, you're somehow lacking in vital chemicals because of an overall ongoing chronic medical condition. Yeah, okay, I think I've stretched that as far as I really can. <laughs> Aha, but I have got here with more chocolate bars now. So, ha, 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 got you. Got you, I say, got you. I have, I have defeated a snowman. And here, they have left their computer and a floppy disk. I wonder what delights shall be contained. Oh, it's just some points. Fair enough, fair enough. I shall take some points. And these look like nice little kind of sweets, don't they? Kind of like chalky, crunchy sweets. Ooh. Hey! Hey now! You're not an all-star. You're rather mean, I say. Rather mean. Quite rude. You're a star. I don't know whether you're an all-star. You certainly seem complete to me, so I would definitely call you all. A complete a whole star. Not a half star. Crunchy, chewy, floppy disks. No, I wouldn't put it past some company or convention or such to have created such a thing for if nothing else only a one or two day event or such by my saying it that way it sounds like i have some kind of idea of what company may have done so but i do not nintendo switch cartridge shaped candy hmm see problem is <laughs> you might end up sending some children to hospital that way though i do believe that on the nintendo switch cartridges they do have a bitter tasting um coating to them so that in you know it's intended to make anybody who's thinking of licking a nintendo switch cartridge it's, n it's designed to oh great thank you designed to put them off from such an activity so i shouldn't have to say it but please do not lick your nintendo switch cartridges I'd be, like, sp sp spectacularly upset and perhaps even a little impressed to myself if I managed to eat Animal Crossing my copy of it because my copy of it is a digital copy which is inside the Switch. <laughs> and to eat an entire Switch would be quite something, I say. Switch chips. Mmm, they taste gross. Switch snacks. They don't melt in your mouth because they're not supposed to. Switch snacks should be dispo disposed of responsibly. Strange things are afoot in the Arctic. This is the Arctic, isn't it? Yes, Arctic. Dear old Santa Claus has been messing around with his workshop castle whilst we've been fighting toys. This sounds very bizarre, doesn't it? And yes, I'm aware of that there are these changes which which happen to a RoboCod as the ages know. Uh, I'm aware that there, is, there are things that happen as you progress through the game. Ooh. Oh no! <laughs> Daisy, Daisy, why did you kill me? Give me your answer, do. Oh no, you're a beef eater, not a fish eater. Stop it, down. Oh no, I nearly fell into those spikes. I don't want to do that, it would hurt. But RoboCod managed to survive. <laughs> She's quite happy about that. Mm. Down there or up here? Well, there looks like an exit here, but oh dear. I was going to try and jump over it. Ooh. Incredibly seasonal music, not at all. Anything to do with Christmas. 
Hello smiling moon, how are you? Boy it's spooky, it is Halloween, oh it is Halloween. Do not be afraid, things cannot hurt you, unless they can, just watch out. There is a distinction that has to be made between things that actually can hurt you and things which are just like, you know, spooky. I hope you enjoyed the new Halloween song. There are snakes in clouds. Why are snakes in clouds? Oh god, why are there snakes in clouds? Please. Ooh. We like you to have a good Halloween. It's very nice to put pumpkins in places. Okay. <laughs> Happy Halloween to all and to all a spooky night. <laughs> Sorry, I just kind of got caught up in saying ah then. I have taken a shortcut. I am just going to ignore every one of you. Because I just can't be bothered. I want this section to end. But I have to go up there. One way or another. I don't think I can get up that way. So I won't. I will just try and get around here. Yeah, I did that. I don't need to give a running commentary, even if I sing it. Bravo, that was Rudolph the Reindeer clopping out the Robocop theme. Hi! Oh, hi! It's a hi-fi! <laughs> Bony! <laughs> See, that's a good joke. Yeah, because if you listen carefully... Oh, hey! <laughs> Look at this! It's a woofer! <laughs> I'm sure that's a joke they're going for there. That's cool. <laughs> now this is a music land. We have a bass and treble clef. Clef, clef, clef. And we're in 4-4 four, four time. I don't think this is actually going to be a tune because they don't even respect how many beats go in a bar, do they? But yeah, so this is like half a beat in a bar at the, at the bottom and then, what's this, one and a bit for the top? And then you've got two, two quarters together. <laughs> I mean, maybe there is a tune here, but they're certainly not respecting the length or the beats in the bar, are they? I am inclined to agree to, agree, to, to believe this is just nonsense. Don't stop me now, I'm having such a good yawn. I'm having a snooze. <sighs> I do hate these jelly worms. Deirdre, Deirdre, can you remove these jelly worms, please? Deirdre, please, no. What are you, Deirdre? Why will you not remove these jelly worms? One tile hops. We can do- Ooh, hello! There's a thing! Something happened! Ah! <laughs> Which is not the usual way. Somebody introduces somebody <laughs> following them. <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate everybody who follows. I just got caught off guard. Jelly worms, throw yourself into the pit. The orchestra pit, get it, because this is a, this is a musical score. Never mind. Oh, this is actually working. I don't think I've seen a working one before. Interesting. Ah, that's why I haven't seen a working one before. They they pop out snakes. No, no, it's a snake machine. Oh no! Nobody told me this was a snake machine! <laughs> okay, calm down. <laughs> snake machines. Interesting. Oh, hey! Hey, don't do that! Hey, look, it's kind of a guitar. Does it have googly eyes on the pegs up here? <laughs> That's so weird. And how many strings does it... It only has three strings, yet six. <laughs> Six tune. Whoa! Oh, hey! Hi! Oh! Oh! My! Oh! Hi! Wow! That's a guitar. Wow. Um. 
Wow, hi. <laughs> Even the faces have faces. I don't think they do, but I wouldn't be surprised. Yep, snake, snake boilers, not interested. Not interesting in the snake boilers. Nope, nope, not at all. In fact, I shall let you live as a display of peace towards snakes. It's like, it's always cute if you put eyes on things. Well, this kind of goes to show maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Hi. Oh, hey, what? Why am I stuck here? Why did I glitch into this? Oh no, is that a... Uh, well, I was thinking that if I push the escape key, it might get rid of one of my lives and put me back to the start. However, it seems <laughs> that pushing the escape key just sets you right back to the beginning here. But I shall see you next time.